Hello everyone and welcome to this video. So in this video I will be demonstrating the GitHub Webhook Deployer which is a simple application to automate your deployments on your server. So what it does is basically it listens for the GitHub Webhook events and on um, and executes some kind of command that deploys your application on your server. So uh, what I have here is the fresh installation of the GitHub Webhook Deployer. You can head over to this particular repository and you can uh, find some description as well as the installation instructions and how you can configure it and how you can start it. So uh, I guess let's get started. So for the, uh, like for the demo, I've created a sample repository uh, named Express Demo App, which is just a simple Express application and we will try to automate the deployment for the same. Also, I have uh, like, set up this application on my uh, test server and uh, this is the application that is running over here so uh, let's get started with uh, first thing we need to do is like create an application on our dashboard so this is just a fresh application so there is no data present uh, as of now so we go to apps and create a new app let's say we say express demo app you can specify the category like it could be Node.js. Uh, there are two main things like uh, we need to provide the application directory and the execute command. Application directory is basically where the application is present and what command it needs to be executed. Uh, this is a GitHub webhook secret that will be used at a later stage and the target branch that we need to, you know, crack. It could be master branch or development branch, uh, whatever you need to. Uh, you can specify it over here. So uh, I do have the directory of the same and it is present over in this particular directory so I can just specify it and the execute command would be like first we will pull the changes then install the dependencies if there are any and then reload this particular app so I simply copy this particular thing and uh, and we need to specify the target branch as well so in this it would be master branch so what we need to do is just copy this webhook secret so that while creating the webhook we can provide it and click on save. So like while clicking on the same uh, you are directed to the deployments page of that particular application as this was created just now so there are no active deployments. And this is here you can see the uh, webhook URL on which the events will be sent to. So. This is the completion of the first step. So now we are uh, moving on to the uh, repository and we will create a webhook over here. So we just click on settings, go to the webhook sections and uh, add a webhook. So we will, I will paste the uh, secret that I just, you know, that was created. Also, I need this particular URL on which the GitHub will send the events, which I will paste in the payload URL. I need to specify the content time to be application JSON and uh, like just the push event would be fine. And click on add a webhook. So as you can see, uh, the webhook was created and if we try to open it, uh, there was a recent delivery which was a ping event um, which we are not packing as of now. So uh, yeah, uh, so let's make some changes and see the uh, deployment in action so let's say we are trying to add a new paragraph over here could be 20 or we could add some more paragraphs as well and just an h5 automatically deployed Now stage these changes and push to our repository. Now if you go to the repository, uh, we can see there was just a commit that was pushed uh, recently, added more paragraphs. And if we also try to uh, open this page and hit refresh, we can see uh, like this was a push event uh, and this commit was basically deployed. So if you want more information, uh, like 
the status was completed and it executed perfectly fine. And if we try to go back to the demo application and hit refresh, and there are changes. So like without going into the server, the changes were auto deployed. So if you want, uh, you can go to the actions or the view where you can see more detailed information about this particular deployment. Like what were the deployment details, the status, commit, who committed it, and the what was the branch, the date as well, and uh, the deployment response, like then what the executed uh, response of that executed command. So uh, following the changes, installation dependencies, and reloading this particular application. Also, if you want, you can uh, also inspect the webhook payload that was uh, sent from the GitHub. So, like uh, with just simple steps, you are able to auto uh, set up the automatic deployment of a particular application. And if you want, you can use other applications like PHP or uh, or any uh, type of application choice you want. So, I guess uh, that was all. Uh, and thanks for watching. And I hope you like this video. And yeah, thanks for watching.